Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Fire Emblem Engage, that trailer we just watched this morning, looks pretty fun, not gonna lie. I'm, pretty, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I'm already seeing some mixed opinions. I think a lot of people aren't very hot on it, but uh, regardless, I think it's gonna be a, a fine addition to the series, just like early impressions. I'm excited, I'm excited. It has some of the hallmarks of like older Fire Emblem games that people like, um, and it is, uh, I don't know, it just appears to be, appears like it's going to have some, some love and care into it. It's going to pay homage to uh, to a lot of uh, the older games in the series, which I, which I enjoy as a, a long-time fan. So I'm going to make a, an extensive, really, I'm going to really break it down for gameplay uh, in a video that will most likely come out tomorrow. But for now, I wanted to take a quick moment and talk about the story, my predictions uh, in that regard. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to this kind of stuff, when it comes to story and whatnot, but I do think I, uh, I have some guesses that I feel are fairly, uh, fairly apparent that I feel pretty accurate to me. I don't know. I could be wrong, but we'll, we'll see how, how we, uh, we do here. So we are first introduced to our main character. We have uh, uh, Alir. I always want to call him Alry, and for some reason I want to say it wrong. But we have Alir, who is a uh, main character who, based on the final screenshot that they show us of, or like the poster thing that they show us, can choose to be a. Uh, you can choose like a male or female variant of the main character, Alir. I assume you will be able to name them. They'll probably do the whole Shez thing where they, they're in the dialogue, but they never refer to them by name, right? And the, even they talk, which I enjoy. So obviously main character, they're a dragon. We don't see them turn into a dragon, but I'm assuming they'll get to turn into a dragon. I'm hoping it's not like, ooh, look, uh, you know, these characters in three houses, they're dragon people, but only like one of them actually turns into a dragon and you don't, don't even get to control them, right? So that's kind of lame. And I hope we hope there's some transformation stuff in here. That's always cool. But anyways, so Alir is a dragon. Fancy. How cool is that? They show a bad guy who puts a he puts a ring on in the trailer at some point. So obviously these ring power things aren't just for our heroes. The bad guys will be using the emblem rings as well, or the Einherjar as they were, you know, like kind of that's just makes more like the what they were called like awakening or, or like it makes me think of Valkyrie profile. And how you summon these people. And that's kind of cool. So these emblems, rings are going to hopefully play a big part in the story. And it seems like Marth is going to be a main-ish character even. Based on some of the, the cutscenes and screenshots. Uh, based on some of the cutscenes they showed. Like the one where uh, Alir and Marth open a door together. I don't know, that just felt like a kind of... It felt like a cutscene where Marth is involved. That's cool. I like that. I like the cutscene that Marth is involved. Um, that's sort of like... I guess that's the only example I can really remember and see but it seems like Martha's going to play a big part in the story and I imagine Sigurd is going to as well with Alfred. Uh, Alfred's class was noble I believe and that just screams main, like main character like second main character vibes you know unless they're going for the whole three houses route of everyone's a noble or a commoner but I don't think that's going to be the case here I think that's I, I think they might be doing away with the, the super open class system which I'm which I'm fine with I I, I would love a move back into more traditional Fire Emblem, which definitely, that seems to be the, the route they're going. But, uh, yeah, but anyways, Alfred seems to be a noble of some kind, and he, uh, he'll he probably have some big role in the story going forward. So I hope Sigurd does as well. I hope Sigurd's like his main summon or something, and Sigurd has a, a big part in the story. I really hope that the these Emblem characters bring their uh, personal experiences into the story. I hope Sigurd's like, hey man, there's this one time that I went into a forest and I saw a pretty girl and I was like, dang girl, you pretty. And then we got married and then uh, we caused the, <laughs> we essentially caused all the plot of the game to happen and it was my fault for letting her get captured and all this different stuff. Not really his fault for letting her get captured, but you know what I mean. If, if, that's the thing. If Sigurd and Deirdre never met and got married or whatever, and never had Selif, uh, by extension, then the game, like the the main plot problem, probably wouldn't have happened. Like it still could have happened. They still could have found her, but it definitely would have taken longer. I don't know. I just think it's funny. 
Uh, so Sigurd is all. So I, I hope Sigurd brings like, and Marth too, and the other characters bring their own perspective to the story, where they're like, "Hey, in my past life, this is what happened." I think that could be really cool. As far as the overall story, though, it seems like it's going to be pretty generic. Um, we're a good guy dragon. We have to go kill bad guy dragon, right? We saw the bad guy dragon who has like the cobra head, freaking snake looking dude. It's kind of odd. Uh, so that's going to be a big thing. And even on the, the opening thing they show with the character wheel, they have the wheel with the different, uh, the main characters from different games. And they have a, they have the two dragons or whatever. It's like, obviously the whole thing is going to be centered around. There's a good dragon or a bad dragon, which is kind of like what Fire Emblem does, you know? Like even, even as far back as uh, the first game, right? You have uh, Medius and then you have uh, Tiki, right? So there, there's going to be, Alir is probably some fancy divine dragon, and then there's going to be some, you know, Medius, Grima type character, right? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that bad guy that they showed, and then they show him put on a ring, I wouldn't be surprised if that ring is like Validar or something like that, you know what I mean? Something to do with Grima. Now, I think the biggest implication as far as story goes are the character designs, funny enough. Uh, in particular, Alir. He looks like... Uh, he, he, he definitely looks like... The outfit reminds me of the robes that uh, Kieran wears in Fire Emblem Heroes. And Kieran's the summoner, right? That's the base name for the summoner. Looks uh, very like that. Uh, looks like look like looks like he's from Asker, you know? And from Fire Emblem Heroes. So I think I wouldn't be surprised if this game just takes place like in the Fire Emblem Heroes universe in some way, maybe like way down the road or something. And these rings of these these power rings, these emblem rings, are like the orbs that heroes used to come from, except they like found a way to concentrate them into these rings to become like power ups for them, right? So essentially they become like blades from from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah, that's just the feeling I get at this point. Uh, that this game feels like it's going to be a Heroes sequel or, or, or maybe even prequel. I don't know, but I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing as long as it's done well. So, uh, as far as other story things, I do think that this weird—I don't, I don't know—this this, like the girl that's by the tree at the beginning of the trailer, and later on she gets a close-up. Um, we don't. They don't say anything about her. I don't think we know her name. I don't think we see her in gameplay at all. Maybe we do, and I'm just dumb, and uh, I, I missed it. But I looked through, and I didn't think I saw her anywhere. I am assuming, and this could be totally wrong, but I kind of assume that she is going to be kind of like our Sothis. I have a feeling that like she is in Alir's head, and I think that because of the cutscene that they show of her by the tree, right? If you look at that cutscene of her by the tree, it's really bright and dreamlike. If you look around, like the, the flowers are very vibrant. All the colors, the sky, the, the tree, everything's a really vibrant color. But then you go forward a little bit into a battle section where Alir uh, is fighting a, a ruffian. And it looks like a similar kind of area, but all the color scheme, everything is toned down. It's like desaturated, right? So. That feels almost like a dream sequence of some kind. So either it's like a dream sequence where he needs, he even has this feeling that he needs to find this girl, or the girl is just in his head. Or again, th this feels like another Xenoblade Two parallel. I just played Xenoblade Two, so I'm, I'm thinking about, I think about it that way a little bit. Um, but it reminds me of you know Pyra by the tree. So uh, she could be some sort of dream girl or some sort of uh, in his head guide person be his navi you know his minna his sothis overall i think the story is going to be pretty generic i think it has some i think it has a chance to be at least fairly interesting if they do something actually unique with it but at this point from what we can see it looks like it's going to be just a, another fire you know, like, it feels like it's almost like a ripoff of the the first fire emblem game except you're playing from tiki's perspective instead of marth and then Martha's there to help you still. So uh, that'd be kind of cool, actually, that idea. But I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the What do you think the story's going to be all about? And make sure to uh, to like the video and subscribe, please. And I will definitely be putting out a, an extensive gameplay uh, look breakdown that should be out tomorrow. 
I'm gonna go hard, man. It's gonna be a, uh, we're gonna look at every screenshot you know, that, that I can get, and we're gonna be looking into the nitty gritty of things. So it's gonna be fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will uh, catch you next time.